Now, unless you're a natural early riser, and really, how many of those are there? The chances are, like us, you need the help of an alarm clock to get you out of the bed and out of bed in the morning. <laughs> I've caught your disease. <laughs> Um, editor of NZ Girl, T. Twyford, scoured the globe to find the latest innovations for waking us up. Good morning to you, T. Good morning, I just, Ellie. I just, I use my iPhone. Yeah. But you've got something a little bit tricky for the, those of us who use our iPhone. Yeah. To. I think, alarm clock, I think mobile phones have become a bit of a default for um, for waking us up in the morning. But um, I was starting to think that, you know, is that such a good idea to have your mobile phone by your bed so close to your head to sort of get you up? Um, Quite sensible. This one sort of might sort of get in the way of that, but this isn't, if we turn it around, it's called the Bird Box app. So you can, um, if you've got an iPhone or an iPod Touch, you can log on to the iTunes app store and purchase this application, which functions... I guess like a like a cuckoo clock, and then you can buy this additional little cute little bird box. This is just made of, <laughs> this is just made of cardboard, <laughs> and you show us how it works. You slip your so iPhone you just, in. Um, <laughs> it all seems a bit Looks complicated. A You've got to do this before you go to bed, of course. But it's you know cute. You can be charging your um, iPhone while it's going, and then you set the alarm, and then the little birds come out. I think it's oh. gorgeous. Much better than waking up to. <laughs> Cute little oh birds. no, I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a little too cute, don't you think? Yeah, m maybe might not get you out of mm. out of bed. Some of these definitely will. A though. nice, gentle way to wake up. Um, absolutely, this is not gentle at all. Absolutely Just, not. This, this is called is a clocky, is it? Yeah, this is clocky. So I'll set it off, and yeah. we may have to run after it. And okay. Someone. This is what happens when you ignore the snooze button on clocky. <laughs> clocky just goes crazy and just. Randomly runs around your floor. I'm not going to get that, am I? It's like having an <laughs> insane R2D2 in your bedroom oh, in the morning. It's gone for oh, 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 I got you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, we might. Will it, just, will it shut up soon or not? Pretty soon, no. hopefully, but it might just keep showing us. Okay. <laughs> not <laughs> ideal. People rushing from everywhere now. Thanks, Tara. <laughs> Shush. Definitely would get you okay. out of bed in the morning. It can keep sort of going for a couple of minutes mm, and hides itself. That will wake up the whole house, though. Yeah. So perhaps my partner was people, not such a fan of that. Really? One. Perhaps for people who... It'd be good for teenagers. Yes. Because I know parents have a hideous time getting their teenagers out of bed. Definitely. But if it ran out the door, then it would be you know, up to you to get it, not the... Not Ugh. the teenager, and then the teenager. Just, just like the dog and everything away. else. Yep. <laughs> right. Um, Moshi, we had a bit of fun with Moshi at the, in the 8 o'clock openers. Yes. This is um, a, a fairly sort of standard Looks pretty digital... simple, kind of like a hotel alarm clock. Until. 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 Um, it, yeah, so it's not talking, it's voice controlled, as you were showing before in the 8 o'clock news. So you give it a little... Welcome. Command, please. Tap and um, the feature I really liked with it was... Sorry, I didn't recognise <laughs> it. Of course so you, you didn't recognise something to it. <laughs> Is it gonna? Oh no, it's gonna go into other things. But you could yeah. set um, set the time. Sorry, I didn't recognise. Of course you didn't, because I'm not talking to you. Um, it allows you to set the time, which I think is fantastic, because with all of these other clocks, you know, it's a real mission to figure out which of the buttons. Oh, so you can set the time by voice yeah. control. Yeah. So you just say, you know, eight o'clock p.m. and then you can set the alarm for six o'clock mm. a.m. So it means you're not fiddling around. And when the alarm goes off, you can actually, so or, or at any time, you can ask it for the time, can't you? Yeah. To yep. touch it and so I don't know why you wouldn't. Well, perhaps if you were sight impaired, that would be. That a great... I think was the original invention was for people that um, yeah weren't able to see the clock. Mm. But I think it is great. But again, it's going to wake up whoever's next to you because it talks to you and says command please. Mm. So not quite so subtle. So once again, <laughs> not for the light sleepers in the family. Absolutely um, not. This one's been around for some time, hasn't it? Because yeah. we've seen this in movies. Um, I think this is a great idea. This would be a wonderful uh, kids' clock or. Um, you know, teenagers clock because it's a bit of fun. Absolutely. So that's and the most how, well, Tell us how it works. Well, we're not going to set it off in case um, we have another issue, but basically, as soon as the alarm goes off, all you have to do is throw it and that stops it. That and turns I had it a off. house full of boys testing that all weekend and it yeah, thoroughly and they worked. Loved it. So but, that's for those people yeah. who are lying there, don't even really want to open their eyes and just grab it. And you get, you'd get a lot of personal satisfaction actually from just throwing yep. it at the wall. But then are you going to get out of bed if all you have to do is reach over blindly and throw it mm. across the room? Well, in that case, we're back to clocking. I think clocking. had to be forcibly taken <laughs> out of the studio. It's the all-round winner. Your favourite? I still really like the cute you birds, but probably, like probably birds. for effectiveness, I think clocky wins hands clocky. down. All right, T. Twyford from NZ Girl. Thanks for bringing those in. Thank mm. you.